تشکیل دارم این دوش خصوصی از تزیستر و بیویشن این 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 گوز دو مرد آه این آه این آه این A few minutes with the hand. I know my hand out. Okay. Okay. Well, I just see the truck. You don't have brought this truck. Okay. Then you can see what's going on here. Okay. All right. Well, as you see here, Buddhamic acid, some Buddhamic PR in it, or they are all solid, solid wood. Yes, that is the case. I think that was the case. That is the new one. Then present in the chroma. But by the end, it's a middle. Then it's a bit here. That is the ligand point. How would it put a bit here? You can see. And all these enzymes, as you see, in chorus rebate, they're all localized in the chorus. If you take the radio level of the chorus, how you knew about it? You give the radiolabel to have a and look for radiolabel to have a you'll find that, okay, you take acid to acid, give radiolabel to have a acid, then form radiolabel to have a acid. Okay, so clearly tells that all the enzymes relate for chlorophyll bars in the chlorophyll in the chlorophyll. Okay, we knew about it also, but they are all nuclear chlorophyll. Because they they follow Mendelian pattern, okay. Although they are located in the chloroplast, they follow Mendelian pattern of movement. That means they don't follow better than you. So what's the matter with Mendelian pattern, right? Okay. So 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 all the therefore all these proteins are coded by the nuclear genome, nuclear genome. Translated in the strategies, right? And post-transfer has been put into the chloroplast, right? All those enzymes in the red, right? It's in the red. All these enzymes, see in the red, and this one in the red, okay? They're all post-transfer has been put into the chloroplast. Put it in Now, Looking at the structure, I will show all the structures here in the middle. So looking at all the structure of this protein, this, uh, this determinant of the pathway, you see most of their acid, the acid, right? A lot of COH group is there. Once COH group there, although they put a carbonyls, but you know, or pines, but they have all COH carboxylic. So they are therefore they remain, they remain soluble. Okay. So all the soluble part. Components, all the soluble components okay, are located in the core. Okay. All hydrophilic components are located in the core. And all the hydrophobic components of the core acid and intermediates are present in the membrane. Either in thyroid point <laughs> or the endocrine point. So, chlorophyll and bar synthesis all mostly takes place in the chloroplast, but certain envelope membranes are also are there, but they don't synthesize chlorophyll, but they synthesize all other pigments within the chlorophyll. <coughs> okay. They don't have chlorophyll so this pathway, as you see here, that vitamin acid, vitamin PRNA, DHH, ALA, the phosphorus, the phosphorus is in the pyrrole ring, the phosphorus, PB1, 
Vigi, that was for balinogen, to the pyrogen, then becomes then the becomes gyrophobinogen 3, then protopopinogen 3, then becomes protopopinogen 9, then protopopinogen 9 either could go to the embark membrane and become protopopinogen, become, become protopopinogen, or it can also, protopopinogen 9 can also go to thalakides. And become protoplasmic in the thalatin. Okay, so you can see therefore that protoplasmic line is actually present both in so, so mass phase, you know, then the membrane phase, and on certain. But also you see protoplasmic line migrating to the mitochondria. Okay. In, in, uh, in animal mitochondria, in our mitochondria, in our body, we don't, we have all the capability in our cell, all the capability of methylene for the proper now. But in plants, they are dual. Okay? In plants, you can see the protoplasmic, there are as many enzymes which are deficient in mitochondria. Okay? So there are mitochondria, there are many enzymes. Many substrates, many intermediates are synthesized in the cytoplasm in the animal, and then some are synthesized in the mitochondria, and some are imported. Okay, in, in the case of plants, some are imported from chloroplasts. Okay, all right. So, protoplasm then nine migrates, synthesizes the chloroplasts, then migrates to the mitochondria. So most of the intermediates of the uh, himba, why you report mitochondria in protoplasmic line? Then why you report for the line for cytoplasmic When iron has been inserted there for cytoplasmic mitochondria. So protoplasmic line goes in migrates to mitochondria, has been protoplasmic line, okay? By protoplasmic oxidase, and the ITPO, okay? Oxidase and then, and then becomes iron gets inserted into it, becomes iron protein. All right, then we can set it. And I've already talked about before what are the cytochromes, A, B, and C for cytochromes, what are the partial moiety, QA, and all these things. I don't want to repeat this. All right. So we are in my All right. Now, so out of all these, Also, I, before we go, then protoplasmic nine, we are then migrating the protoplasmic nine, protoplasmic nine to the so protoplasmic bank, to which you can also go. Uh, what? If iron gets inserted, it becomes a group. You see that? Protoplasmic nine becomes group. You see that? So, because chloroplast also has cytochrome, cytochrome, and all the cytochromes we read in the chloroplast are located in the cytochrome. Okay, so him bars is expressed in the thalacrid. Then we can magnetic the protoplasmic line. So, so protoplasmic. So here I had a choice: the magnesium inserted, the magnetic protoplasmic line bars inserted, ready to absorb it, or iron gets inserted here, it goes to him system. Then cytochrome. So in plants, both the plants points of it. So, protoplasmic line with the magnesium for inserted in the microcycle at the center. So, the magnesium protoplasmic line, okay, then it is closed by the center. All right. All that is enzymes express, the enzyme of magnesium has been again, okay, insert magnesium protoplasmic line here. Or there is also a possibility of iron getting inserted by the ferrochloride enzyme, okay. So, protoplasmic line. Or about the iron for the first time, then But in animals, magnesium bars is shut down. Okay, only heme synthesis part of the Okay, all right. I think what I should do here is to distribute among yourselves in these all the Then I will say this. Okay. 
So, uh, so we have now, now magnetic support of the I think this I told you, so the magnetic support of one is one of the one of the 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 magnetic
go to the picture, go to the panel, if you want to observe it. Here's the one. Now, there are two molecules of air. You see that? Two molecules of air. Right? Yeah, actually, that is correct. Correct. There are two molecules of air. The two molecules of air by the Indian air, the hydrogen in there, okay, and we put for palino. Right? Two molecules in there. Air, the hydrogen in there. Or you can call it, we don't, it is old name for air, the hydrogen in there, but I still prefer it so you understand that the dehydrated, how do you understand dehydrated? It's one atom of water molecule removed from it. Okay? Dehydrated. For the condensation of two air molecules. Okay? So you, you call it now the CBDC phase. Okay? You can see here uh, air and CBD, CBD and LAD, you can say LAD, have a phase, that's what you see. Okay? All right. It's written by LAD. Right? LAD. You see LAD here? LAD? It's a taking place in the chroma. Okay? All right. So the LAD has a phase. So you can perform palinose then. Perform by using the pylone ring. It's called a pylone ring. So four of these pylone rings have to combine back from a tetrahedron. Okay, all the four of the rules of the protoplasmic line are called tetrahedron. Okay. So you can see this pylone ring. So it has it has one acetic acid residue and a Propylic acid residue. You see that? One, one acid is inside here and propylic acid is inside. The four of these porphobalinogens combine or condense together by the enzymes of PBG D aminase reaction. PBG D aminase or PBG D. And uroporphobalinogens is synthesized. Okay, combined to be the deaminate and Europopropylene 3 synthase to give you Europopropylene 3. You see that? Europopropylene 3. Okay. Four molecules of porphobalinogen or four molecules of pyro, four pyrogens, right? Combined with each other, which are interlinking with each other, and the ring is closed by the by two enzymes for phosphobalinogen the aminase reaction. Okay? Because amide group is going out, and I'll tell you moment why this amide group is going, amide going out, the aminase reaction. And Europhobalin is in phase reaction. You call Europhobalin. Okay. But it is you see, if it is deaminate reaction, what is it? You see the acetic acid to the right? And also see side methylene groups on the side side, right? You see methylene groups? Okay. So what is happening in rings is formed, if you can see this and this, this is a methylene bridge. The amino group is removed. So when two molecules of PVG are combined with each other, okay, they are combining and one amino group is removed, so there will be the aminase, and you have double bonding there. You see that zero for present three? You see ring A, ring B, ring C, and ring D in zero for present three? A, B, C, D. And you see now acetic acid, ring A, acetic acid side chain, and propylic acid side chain. You see that? And so position one and one is occupied by acetic. Position two is occupied by propionic. Then position three is occupied by acetic. Position four is occupied by propionic ring B. Then and so on and so forth. So. Now this PPG deaminase bridges. Okay? The ring A and ring B. 
This is that the bridge that connects A and B. And this is called what? The clean bridge. The double bond. All right. So you have A, B, C, D. A and B, B and C, C and B, and so on and so forth. You become a closed state of the So then intermediate you call, giving a given you bracket, then the open scene set of Okay? Then bridge is there. Yes, I don't think I do. But talk to you later on. Okay. So, but here, you must see that. Ring A, ring B, and go to, you know, then I'm, 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 let us ask for you. Why call you refer for them to? You look into ring A, ask a tip. Right? Ring B again, accept it. Ring C again, accept it. Ring D, procuring acid. You see that? Acetic propionic, acetic propionic, acetic propionic. That means propionic acid. That means here ring D is inverse. Like this. Okay? So when that happens, this isomer is called propionic C acid. If the ring is not inverse, then you know for one. Okay. So depending upon whichever is so you can produce many isomers chemically. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on and so forth. Okay. Alright. But this isomer, particular isomer, where all are in, in acidic protein, acidic protein, acidic protein, but where D only ring D is inverse. We call it All right. But you can see also uh, the intermediate, even in bad bracket. Acidic propionic, acidic propionic, acidic propionic, and acidic propionic. Okay. So this is the intermediate. Right? But then the enzyme called Europapagen C synthase, okay, which converts progesterone before and then turns this ring 180 degrees, or 360 degrees, I would say, 180 degrees, 180 degrees, completely. Okay, so you now become what? The pelican. Okay, if, you, if the plant is deficient in Europapagen C, or any bacteria or whatever it is deficient in, Europropagen C4 synthase, you will have Europropagen 1, not Europropagen 2. Europropagen 3 is a biological isomer. Okay. Europropagen 1 is not a biological isomer. It could be prepared a biological if you have deficient in Europropagen in Europropagen synthase. Okay. All right. But then it is not acted upon by the second. So the person will assume it. Okay? So clear your problem three, right? Then your problem three is you can see that it is there, then and there, it's decarboxylated to form a propagation by the enzyme euro D. Europeanogen. Decarboxylate. Eurofarfinogen 3, decarboxylate. We call it Euro D. Eurofarfinogen 3, right? Then Eurofarfinogen 3 by the enzyme, Euro D. Okay? Eurofarfinogen 3, D. So what has happened here? Yes. The carboxyl groups are ring A and the carboxyl group is ring B. 
What are types of sequence? And C and then in D. This is all acetic acid residues. Right? Right? So fourth carbon dioxide is gone. The gone are carboxylic and decarboxylic. So all this one now what? CH2. 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 Alright? Single bond. So what it is? That? Okay. Let's say. So this is called coprofoxanogen. Eurofoxanogen say then becomes coprofoxanogen. In the input, you are going to carboxyl. I am talking about other day for five years, right? In people who get convert, convert, right? See the deficient in these people are deficient in your person, then be carboxyl. Hero B. So what do I accumulate? Hero person, then right? Hero person, then three will be. A Oxidized by molecular oxygen become hero for thyrene. Hero for thyrene 3, if you accumulate, would oxidize become hero for thyrene. The difference between for thyrene or gel and for thyrene. We will know that in a moment. What is the difference between for thyrene or gel and for thyrene? Okay. But this, by molecular, hero for thyrene is accumulated by molecular oxygen. A non enzyme non enzyme means the conversation is zero for thyrene. Okay. And it is zero for thyrene. It is for, can absorb light also. One comes for thyrene, it can absorb light. The for thyrene gel, it cannot absorb light. Visible light. <coughs> zero for thyrene gel, it cannot absorb visible light. Okay. But zero for thyrene can absorb light. So, you know, for in, 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 in human beings, if you know, for fine, accumulate, they will go other light, good excited state, and from that excited state, they will give the energy to oxygen, to the oxygen, oxygen, and then damage the damage the thing. Okay. So, that's because of the You know, being efficient. Cannot metabolize hero perfusion 3 to perfusion 3. Right? So, hero perfusion 3 is accumulated in, in their body. Okay. And then, because hero perfusion 3 doesn't absorb any light, visible light. But hero perfusion 3 is oxidized to absorb the form hero perfusion, which absorbs visible light. Okay? Hero perfusion 3 is not accumulated in plants or in our body. Okay? All right. Yeah, so that's what we similar to the three radicals here are given definition three radicals for the unit Okay. All right, more. Okay. And they could split to convert. Okay. I was told, but I'm not very sure, maybe it's what you will be some fun here. That many people will see for vampires and all that. Okay. Okay, they are, uh, they are, you know, they invade cover, 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 star and all that. Okay. Yeah, you, you see them in, only in night time. Because their face is so damaged, so much damaged, their bones almost come out, they say. Okay. Because of severe compile. Okay. So they cannot, uh, you know, Come out in daytime, of course, because if they go come out in daytime, they suffer from sunburn. They can come out, come out only in night. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not fire, but you know, they think people think of fire. They can come out only in night. Okay. And where they can go, where nobody goes. They can, because, you know, people are afraid of, after you see them. So they go to uh, Kabristan, where people are. Not interested to go the night time. Okay. So this is so this is, I read this in a book and in a textbook also I'm saying. But I have no personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> you should give them an iPhone so they can send us an email. <laughs> yeah. 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 But that's what I written in 
in the book also. And uh, in many many papers I have seen that. So I am referring it. <laughs> but it's possible that actual pictures come as public sense. And you see those quantum patterns. So why graveyard Rosie? And other pictures also. Why graveyard? Yeah. Oh, because we don't want to go, we don't go get to the graveyard in night. <laughs> Most people don't go to the graveyard in night. People do not habitate or do not rather go, go on the road for the other graveyard at the night time. Therefore, <laughs> therefore they go there. Yeah. But people don't. Because it's for stage for Why did you have to hang out there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, because people can't see them anymore. They have friends, they want to talk to each other. Okay. <laughs> yes. 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 Put up a put up a put then night. Why the enzyme called coprocosmogen oxidase or CTO? All the oxidation. CTO X is the coprocosmogen 3 is to put up a put up a Okay. Why the enzyme called coprocosmogen oxidase? CTO X. So it's only oxidation in there. So, so what happened there? What is different? A couple of things in there. What about the nine? There are two propionic acids in the ring A and the ring B, right? Are converted to vinyl gas. CH, CH2. Right? That's what a couple of things are there. Right? Oxidizes. Two propylic acids in ring A and ring B to hydrogen. CH2. Okay. So this copper propylene oxidase 3 is a protoplasmogen 9. Okay. Now one protoplasmogen 9 is formed, converted to protoplasmogen 9. Okay. By the enzyme called protoplasmogen oxidase. Protoplasmogen oxidase. So this is protoplasmogen, this is protoplasmogen 9, right? Then protox, a protoplasmogen oxidase, a protoplasmogen 9. Here also, protoplasmogen 9, protoplasmogen oxidase, a protoplasmogen 9. CTO X. CTO X. That's a protoplasmogen oxidase. So what happened here? Removal of six electrons. Okay? Forming double bonds in the macro side. In macro side. Once the proof of the oxidase removes six electrons. So I put up a the oxidase. Remove. Six electrons from protoplasmogen 9 to form protoplasmogen 9. Okay, so the, you see the process of three double bonds in the tetrahedral macro site. Okay, yes. all right. And this protoplasmogen 9, as I told you, for firing 9 can occur, right? But not for protoplasmogen. Alright, so this protoplasmogen can absorb light, but it is immediately converted to beam in animal. Iron gets inserted in animal cell by the enzyme called ferrochelatase. Ferrochelatase. It intercalates iron into protoplasmogen iron. Okay, at the center of the macrocycle. So from iron, Protoplasmogen. Iron gets inserted into two, but protoplasmogen, protoplasmogen nine at the center to produce what? Iron 
¿Cuántas puedo obtener? ¿Sabes? Para el día, chiro, que le pide. Es que ahora lo. ¿Qué lo tiene? ¿Qué lo tiene? Ahora la es. Supan him. O, it can insert that you like look, look, look into the next. और मैग्नीशियम का सिंसर के लिए क्या क्या बनेंगे हैं और मैग्नीशियम के लिए क्या ओके मैग्नीशियम के लिए क्या बिकम्स मैग्नीशियम को तो पॉवर करें Magnesium can insert its center in the magnesium for the first And this is mediated by magnesium lipids. Magnesium. Magnesium branch, magnesium, magnesium. The starting point of magnesium 
Magnetic product of in line, okay, is historic part. The form magnetic product of in line, one on the side is history. And it's tied to the ring C, okay, the propionic acid and the ring C is a historic part to form magnetic product of in line, one on the side. And the specification is done by S. and Silmahan. The S. and Silmahan are dependent reactions. Okay, magnetic part of the line plus S. and Silmahan. The enzyme is for CHAM, S. M. CHAM, we call it CHAM, right? For, okay, CHAM is very, you know, in the name of the word, we call it CHAM. Yes, I will see what I am. You know, so you win all in battle. Okay? Right? Are they wrong? They're wrong. Are they wrong? Are they wrong? Are they wrong? Are they wrong? Are So then we call we have magnesium protoplasm line colon, okay? Yes, I'm missing what I am in methyl plus. So it's like a general comment that we have a little When people are writing to the special, that we have a magnesium group. So, but, but sometimes you put anti into the name, I can't use it. For this, what is hot for the You can do that, but you must when you write it. Yeah, you must write it. So you can sign over here. Yeah. It is called MG LC. Yeah. Magnetic photo line, converted to magnetic photo for the name of the mixture. Then it, or since you said MCE, okay. this is equal to MGMC. Or that is magnetic photo of the line, yes, I can see what I mean. And then this MDMC, you can say magnesium uh, MPE, is converted to what you say is dye, uh, you say, dye to A5 and all that. We call it now 
डाइ फाइनल प्रोटोस्टोरस डाइ राइट एंड सी इज कन्वर्टेड टू डीवी प्रोटोस्टोरस डीवी स्टैंड फॉर डाइ फाइनल टू वैल्यूज राइट ड्रिंग ए एंड ड्रिंग बी इन पोजीशन 2 एंड पोजीशन 4 right you see that do you see that in your in your see that next in next intermediate so we need a and we need b at position 2 and position 4 right the two vinyl groups therefore we call it divinyl protochloros dye here yeah, this one divinyl Dihydro protoxide could be converted to monovinyl protoxide by vinyl reduction. All right. Which one? Dihydro reduction. DBR. DB. So, magnesium protoxide nine to dihydrogen. Okay. Oh, magnesium protoxide nine to dihydrogen is converted to this. Uh, what this? Uh, but this okay. I just said that. I was saying that also. I'm describing this to you right now. Okay. This is the cyclic. Actually, using A B there A B C D ring, right? Now the another ring. You see that protocol of the MPE and what is the difference between uh, MPE and protocol of the there is another ring form, right at the bottom, right hand side of the bottom. This is called cyclopentanol ring or isocyte. Okay, you see that it is called cyclopentanol ring or isocyte ring. Okay. And this is called. Therefore, you have ring A, B, C, D, and ring E. This is called ring E. But you don't. You just call it ring E. You call it simply K. Cyclopentanol. So what this enzyme has done? It cyclase. It makes a cyclization reaction. Of the propionic acid. You see, the propionic acid in the ring. C, okay, made a brief leap molecule there to make a cyclic cyclase. So we call it cyclopentanol. It's a high carbon compound. Okay, and this is named as propyl mono the MP cyclase. Magnesium protoxide nine monoester. I say in a higher price, it is oxidative cyclase. Oxygen is moved from here. Oxidative reaction, remedial oxygen. Okay. In bacteria and other plants, there is no requirement of oxygen. In bacteria, there is no no requirement of oxygen. You can do another method. Okay. In higher price, yes. Okay. I will not go into detail. Okay. Or the reaction in the end. We have to go into that. Okay. There is no time to talk about that. I will not need that detail. Okay. So once you have put up your oxide, we call it dihydrogen. Put up your oxide. The two vinyl groups, and these two vinyl groups, okay, it could be converted to monoester. You don't look at this anymore. You can give you look at structure here only. Okay. So this side has the protoplasm of the vinyl group, and the vinyl protoplasm of the vinyl, right? And the vinyl reductase in there. So what do we do? What happens when the vinyl reductase? You can see the structure here. Is it enough? 
मनोवैज प्रोटेक्टर फिर से कहते हैं क्लोरोफिलाइज के तक को सॉरी प्रोटेक्टोरोफिलाइज तक को आफ्टर दैट राइट प्रोटेक्टोरोफिलाइज फिर से प्रोटेक्टोरोफिलाइज है सो व्हाट इज हैपेंड देयर टू वैलिड रूट्स और ना one one by there were two binary groups but one binary group is now reduced to a few groups in the b position 4 okay binary group binary group are become now a few double bond is gone right we call it hydrogen reduction okay now it is a monovalent protocol right Dialyzed photochlorophyllite, okay? Monohyaline photochlorophyllite. By the enzyme, hydrogen reduction. Right? Okay. So, therefore, we call it dialyzed hydrogen reduction. Or dialyzed photochlorophyllite. This dialyzed photochlorophyllite and monohyaline photochlorophyllite, both, all can be converted to chlorophyllite by either dialyzed photochlorophyllite or monohyaline photochlorophyllite.